Connor noticed that spacing and he just delivered four four unpredictable not unpredictable four elbow four shoulders that four shoulder pops or I don't know he did like the Uzi he did like the little Uzi shoulder shoulder thing Throw me my sack before I come for eighty thousand dollars plus a jet Yo Let's let's get to this fight man UFC 246 Conor McGregor versus Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Um, this is gonna be a, an analysis of my thought uh, of the fight from my from my perspective, and think of this as a like a pro review. I want to try to be as specific and as detailed as possible, but to be honest, there's not much to talk about because the fight ended in 40 seconds. 40 seconds the fight lasted. So it's main event time. Conor McGregor's on one side, and Donald Cabo Cerrone's on the other. Um, Herb Dean, I think it's Herb Dean that was fighting it, so was refereeing. Is it either Herb Dean or, or Big John? I uh, can't remember right now. I don't know why. But the bell rings, and Conor just charges forth. Like He he tries to attempt the flying knee that, that kind of looked very reminiscent of how Jorge Masvidal did to Ben Askren. But he didn't land... Um, no, 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 no. He didn't even do the flying knee. He went straight in for the for the left. He went straight in for the left. Donald ducked down. Donald Cerrone ducked down because he knew that. I guess he just saw it coming. He anticipated it. He went down. And as he went down, Connor's knee hit him. He hit him. Then they got in a clinch. And this clinch that Donald and Cabo were in were very... It was very different because it, was, it wasn't a tight clinch. The clinch had a lot of space between both of them. Um, and I guess from that clinch, sorry for that. Um, and I guess from that clinch, from that spacing, Connor noticed that spacing and he just delivered four, four unpredictable, not unpredictable, four elbow, four shoulders that, four shoulder pops or, I don't know, he did like the Uzi. He did like the little Uzi shoulder, shoulder thing. Throw me my sack before I come for eighty thousand dollars plus a jet. And he hit Cowboy once. I think it was just like okay. I think Cowboy didn't even realize he hit him once. Then he hit him twice, and he was like, okay, he's not. I'm, okay, it was twice. Then he hit him again, and then he hit him again. It was like whoa, man. Like nobody from the way he did it, man. Like it was very innovative. I'll give Connor kind of that. It, the whole shoulder thing was very innovative, and to be honest, it was like the first time. I think I ever seen somebody get fucked up with somebody's shoulder, bro. Like he really hit him with his shoulder. He fucked him up with his shoulder. Like I don't know if I can't remember if he almost broke Cowboy's nose, but I know Cowboy's face was beat up, and then the last shoulder hit him around his eyes. So it was like from just the clinch, like that sequence was very critical because he stunned him. He stunned him afterwards. And Cowboy kind of just backed up, and Connor just came in like just very, very pre precise. He was almost just eyeing and analyzing. He just he had them all figured out pretty much. And Cowboy went for a, I think he went for a head kick. Um, he did, and then he he didn't get that. And then Connor came in with a head kick of his own. And even even though Cowboy had his hand up in his face, it wasn't really there. So when Connor just delivered and connected on the head kick, it was boom, it was lights out. Like he went down and Connor just ground and pounded him to the point where they had to stop the fight. It was Herb that refed it. It was Herb. Herb, um, I remember when when Cowboy was on the ground and Connor was just landing his shots in him. I I I could see that Herb was giving Cowboy a lot of opportunity to like get back up and recover from the fight. And, but unfortunately, he just couldn't, he couldn't recover from that head kick and from the shoulders, I believe, the four shoulder hits. And it was just done from there, man. And it was just like, wow, like, not only did he beat Cowboy, but he beat him in such a dramatic fashion that one person could only think that something like that was fake or like from a movie because of how good that fight was in Connor's favor, like how good he looked. Um... And I just remember, like, afterwards, like, Nate Diaz tweeted on Twitter that, um, like, yo, this shit is fake. Like, what the fuck? Like, man, this whole shit is fake. And 
I don't know. He was just like real salty, man. I don't. I mean, either I don't know. I have nothing against Nate, bro. I I, I, I fuck with Nate. Um, but I just remember that he was really upset with that. Um, who else? Like I know that like Jorge Masvidal was in the building. He had like Connor's whole Versace robe on, and um, obviously he probably had that just to let everybody know that he wants to probably fight Connor or just to get in Connor's head. Uh, who else was there? Kamaru Usman was there. Um, a couple of celebrities were there too, but just that whole sequence of events, like I didn't, I knew coming in that Connor was going to do something. Like I just knew he was, he just looked ready, man. He looked like he was ready to like shock the world as he always does from, from his fights and kind of, you know, deliver that magical, his magical performance, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it was just, yeah, man, I never seen somebody get fucked up so bad with his shoulder. Like, he literally beat his ass with his shoulder. I love, I love MMA, bro. One thing I love, one, one thing I love about it so much is that, like, you just, you can, like, literally hit anybody with any part of your body. Uh, unless, like, it's, like, illegal, you know? Yeah, man, when he did it, I was just like, wow, bro, that was some smart shit that Connor did. Like, really, I really had to give him credit for that. I think Cowboy really just got, like, caught, man. He just caught. He just got caught. He didn't know that he was going to get fucked up like that. Like, I don't even, I don't even think that, like, I don't know. I don't think nothing, I don't think nothing bad. How, how do I put this? I think he just got caught. That's it. I don't think anything else of it. I don't think it was a setup. I don't think it was fake. I don't think of anything like that. Like, sometimes, like, you can be as ready as you can. You can have, you're going to have the perfect, perfect training camp. You can have, you can have, the perfect weight cut you can have any everything can go right but that doesn't determine that doesn't mean that you're gonna have a perfect performance too you know what i mean like none of that correlates to how how it's gonna go down in the octagon you know what i mean so it's just one of those things where like i really felt bad for cowboy because i felt like this fight with him and cowboy was really the equivalent of him fighting for a belt you know what i mean like any anytime somebody fights connor man it's a payday man like his name just draws so much attention and so much viewers views that um and money that you might as well be fighting for a title so i think like this was probably like the biggest fight in his career and it just didn't and it ended in 40 seconds or 41 seconds i believe i think it was 41 seconds um checking the you i think from the website i just checked ufc like the scores the the scoreboard yeah and it said 41 seconds that the fight was over and so it's like looking at it from his perspective. I could be super like I would be super like disappointed or just I don't know. I, would, I feel sorry for him, you know, that it had to happen like that. And just afterwards, bro. Like I one thing um, that I that I really do respect Connor about that that I respect about Connor is just that like he's super like um like after every time he fights afterwards, like he's super humble. He's not he's not gonna talk shit after like he after he. Whether he loses or wins, he's not gonna talk shit about his opponents like right after the fight's over. Like he's he's gonna give his opponents respect, um, his respect, and he's you know gonna gonna credit his opponent and, and just be a humble guy. And I think that was cool, man. Um, that he he gave Cowboy all the credit in the world and and didn't like bash on his name afterwards. And it was very cool seeing that um seeing Cowboy's um ser seeing Donald Cerrone's grandma um come in and hug him, and then afterwards she talked to Connor and gave him a hug. So. It was just a nice way to um, end the fight, I guess. You know, a nice, sweet moment. But um, you know what? I want to hear from you guys, man. Anybody who's watching this video right now, like, what are your thoughts about the fight? What, who do you have coming into it? What what things did you like about it? What things you didn't like about it? Like, just what were your thoughts about this fight in general? And if you guys can comment down below, like, I definitely would appreciate it. Like, I want to be able to engage and talk with y'all as much and just have like a cool conversation in the comment section so yeah man i think i think that's it i think that's all i have to say about this card it was super i feel like this fight this card was super short i don't know if it was just me or not but i feel like this fight was super short it didn't end too long a lot of the main cards or at least a lot of the fights were really like they stopped very soon so yeah like this fight was over before one at least like in my time like i live in east east coast time so this fight was over before the one. Like this fight ended at like the whole card ended at like twelve, maybe twelve twenty or something like that, or twelve twelve maybe. Ooh, twelve twelve. Nah. Um, 
Yeah, it just ended way before, like super soon. So, yeah, I think with that being said, uh, I'm going to shut the hell up. <laughs> um, but, yeah, take care of yourselves, man. Stay safe. Peace.